There's two Florida surprises around me right now. One, a waterfall. Not what you typically associate with Northern Florida, but yet here in this spring-fed stream system, this steep head, we have water that has eroded the hillside to the point where water now tumbles over this cliff face. It creates a perfect microhabitat for one of the most special species found in Florida. The amazing, the wonderful, the endemic, and the special Apalachicola dusky salamander. Only found in this region where it lives in these kind of moist environments. This is a salamander, it's an amphibian. And they need this moisture because of a very special thing they do, which is, unlike us that breathe through lungs, they breathe through their skin. So I've made sure to keep my hands extra moist, extra wet, so this, this cute little critter can continue to walk around and try to escape my hand. This species gets about three inches longer than this. They get pretty big. And what they do is they live their entire lives in an area, sometimes, of maybe a square meter where they feed on little amphipods and small insects. This creature, if you stop and think about it, is just so indicative of the diversity of this region because there's dusky salamanders in other places all over Florida, all over North Florida at least. But this animal, because of these unique microhabitats, has evolved over time to become its own species, its own special salamander with these amazing brown mar... As I was saying, these amazing brown markings that are on its back, these little eyes that help it to see, they're visual predators that hunt down their prey. It has evolved especially to suit itself to these steep head moist environments only found in the upper Apalachicola River Basin. So pretty amazing to see something like this. I'm going to put them back.